Hello, in this video we are going to look at logical operators. So a logical operator just allows you to check for some logic, basically if something is true. And the three logical operators are AND, OR, and the NOT operator. So the first one, AND. So the AND operator works like this. If both of the parameters provided, if they're both true or ON or ONE, then that will return a true value. If neither, I mean, if one of them isn't on, or both of them isn't on, then they will return false, or, I think you can guess, it only requires one of them to be valid, one of them to be true, that is, and you'll return true, otherwise you'll return false if they're both off, and not just basically reverses the state. And you can reverse the state of, you know, doing something else as well, so you could check if, let's say, I don't know, variable one is equal to variable two i mean if variable one and variable two are on using the and operator and if that puts so true if you were to do not to that that would produce false so i'm just going to deal with the values true and false just to keep it simple but if you provide a number in there that's not zero it will be true as well so we're going to do print and we are going to do what I'm, what I'm actually going to do is create another variable and this one I want to set to true and this one I'll set to false. I'll create one more so we got two of each so we can show you all of the different permutations. That is fine. Now in here, to do it, you just do, for example, var1 and var2. So this checks if var1 and var2 aren't, and to insert the result. So we'll do the same for var1 var and var3. So one true and one false, doesn't matter the order. And I will also do the same for having both false ones. So for a comment here saying and logical operator. Now let's and also I'm gonna do a print here just so we can in the comment in the actual log see what what it is. So I'm just gonna literally copy and paste this. Now I'm gonna copy this paste it here, really should have copied the comment as well, change this to all, not all, all, and I think you guessed it, the keyword is all, so we're going to have two on alls, one where one is off, one is on, and one where they're all off, and now we're going to have the not logical operator. And we don't actually need these sort of vars. So if, if for this, I'll just put var1 and then I'll put var3 because it, again, it just flips it. Like I said, you could essentially do this as well. So you could copy that, paste that here. That would do, actually, one second, I forgot one thing. You should be not and then you can close it around brackets. I'm thinking something looked short and that's something not missing so yeah what you could do is just literally put that into here like so and you can get rid of these extra brackets you don't need them and this would do var1 or var2 so is var1 or var2 one yes it is so that will produce true but not would inversely so it would produce false but let's just go back to our simple example and click run see what we get Okay, so we have an error. So let's have a look where this error is occurring. Line 16. Out. Now, why did that? It's all lowercase. Some languages it is all uppercase, so that's something to bear in mind. And okay, here we go. So the analogical operator, we get true, false, false. That makes sense. If they're both on, then it's true. If only one of them is on, it's false. If they're both off, then it's false. The or we got 
true true false again makes sense if both of them are on then it's true if only one of them on is on which is the first one second one isn't then it's true but if both of them are off then it's false and for the final one the not logical operator we didn't get anything printed so let's take a look at this Okay. If we do bar one and bar two, let's run that. Not is not or not is not defined. Ah. Again, using the wrong one or not an invalid one. Let's run it again and let's wait for this to run. So now we get false and true. So, yeah, just make sure you don't make the mistake I did. So, false and true. So, var1 is true. So, it flips it because that's all not does. That's just all the not operator, or if you know about gates in computer science, that's all the not gate does. I, I recommend you know having a look a bit more into the gate system for logical operators. Really fascinating. And not var free, that just flips that and becomes true. So that's it for logical operators. You'll be using these now and again to determine if you know let's say two conditions are true, or if you know at least one of them is true. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.